SAPPM, or plant maintenance, is a crucial component of the SAP ERP system. If you're preparing for an upcoming interview, it's important to familiarize yourself with the most common questions and suitable responses. This video will provide you with an overview of the top 25 SAPPM interview questions and their answers. It aims to help applicants prepare thoroughly and approach their interviews with confidence. 1. What is SAPPM and what are its key functions? SAPPM, or SAP Plant Maintenance, is a module in the SAP system that supports all maintenance activities in an organization. Its key functions include managing and recording all technical objects' equipment and functional locations, planning and scheduling maintenance activities, tracking maintenance costs, and integrating with other SAP modules for comprehensive business management. It simplifies the process of managing and scheduling all types of in-plant maintenance operations, from regular preventive maintenance to breakdown and unplanned maintenance. By managing all maintenance information in one central system, SAPPM helps to ensure efficient, cost-effective maintenance processes and high equipment availability. 2. Explain the concept of a maintenance plant in SAPPM. A maintenance plant in SAPPM represents the location within a company where the maintenance activities are performed. It is an organizational unit within logistics that structures the maintenance functions of a company based on the requirements specific to it. The maintenance plant plays a crucial role in inventory management as it is responsible for the planning, execution, and completion of maintenance tasks. It also holds the maintenance equipment and technical places, which are necessary for carrying out the maintenance activities efficiently. The maintenance plant is considered the central point for managing all maintenance activities in an organization. 3. What is the difference between a maintenance plan and a planning plan? A maintenance plan in SAPPM is a strategic document that outlines the frequency and scope of maintenance tasks for a specific piece of equipment or functional location. This plan aims to ensure optimal operation and longevity of the equipment by scheduling preventive maintenance activities at regular intervals. On the other hand, a planning plan is more general and broader in scope. It does not tie to a specific piece of equipment or location. Instead, it outlines the resources, timeframes, and actions necessary to achieve a specific goal or objective within the organization. This could include a wide range of activities, such as implementing new technologies, developing a new product, or improving a business process. These two types of plans serve different purposes but both are essential for efficient operation and management within an organization. 4. Describe the role of the work center in maintenance activities. The work center in SAPPM plays a crucial role in maintenance activities. It serves as the hub where all maintenance operations are coordinated and managed. Within the work center, you can plan, schedule, and implement maintenance tasks. The work center provides a comprehensive overview of all maintenance activities, which helps streamline the process and ensures that all tasks are carried out efficiently and on time. This facilitates effective resource allocation and execution of maintenance activities, leading to increased productivity and minimal downtime. In SAPPM, the work center contains details of the capacities, standard values, and schedules of the crew working on a specific maintenance task. This data is utilized for planning and scheduling purposes. In essence, the work center is the core of SAPPM where all maintenance activities are integrated and managed. 5. What are the different types of task lists in the plan maintenance model? Task lists in SAPPM are essential templates that simplify the planning process of maintenance activities. They contain sequences of operations or tasks that are carried out repeatedly. There are several types of task lists in SAPPM, equipment task list, specific to a particular piece of equipment, functional location task list, specific to a particular functional location, general maintenance task list, not specific to any equipment or functional location. It can be used across various scenarios, group counter task list, multiple maintenance packages can be created and assigned to different group counters, material task list, specific to a particular material in the plant, inspection task list, used to perform inspection on the equipment or functional location. Assembly task list, specific to an assembly or a part in the plant. Each type of task list plays a crucial role in planning and executing maintenance activities in an organized manner. 6. How does SAPPM integrate with other SAP modules? SAPPM, plant maintenance, has seamless integration capabilities with other modules of SAP, facilitating smooth data sharing and process flow. For instance, it integrates with SAP MM, material management, for procurement and inventory management. It also links with SAP FICO, financial accounting and controlling, for financial and cost accounting purposes. Integration with SAP HR, human resource, helps to manage workforce and labor costs. With SAP QM, quality management, it manages the quality of equipment and maintenance activities. SAP PM also collaborates with SAP SD, sales and distribution, and SAP PP, production planning, to ensure optimal plant performance and production planning. This connectivity enhances the efficiency of maintenance processes and provides a holistic view of plant operations. 7. What is the significance of master data in managing equipment within an organization? Master data plays a crucial role in managing equipment within an organization. It serves as the backbone of all operations, 
providing the necessary information for various processes. This data includes details about the equipment, such as its specifications, location, maintenance history, and associated spare parts. With accurate master data, an organization can effectively plan, schedule, and execute maintenance tasks. This helps in reducing equipment downtime, increasing efficiency, enhancing safety, and improving operational performance. By providing a centralized and consistent source of information, master data ensures that all stakeholders have access to the same data, leading to better decision-making and coordination of tasks. 8. Explain the concept of a functional location in SAP PM. A functional location in SAP PM represents the place within an organization where a maintenance task is performed. It serves as a structural unit in a technical system or a plant. In terms of hierarchy, a functional location exists within the higher-level functional locations that depict the technical and organizational view of a system. As an example, in an industrial setting, a functional location could be a particular machine or part of a production line. This concept is crucial as it helps to capture and document the history of maintenance activities associated with specific locations. It contributes to better planning, execution, and tracking of maintenance tasks, thus enhancing the efficiency and effectiveness of maintenance processes within an organization. 9. What is the purpose of a Bill of Materials, BOM, in SAP PM? A Bill of Materials, BOM, in SAP PM is crucial as it lists all parts or components needed to carry out a particular task or to manufacture a product. It serves as a comprehensive guide for maintenance personnel, providing them with detailed information about the components required for a specific task. It facilitates efficient planning and execution of maintenance tasks by ensuring that all necessary components are available. Also, a BOM helps in estimating the cost of maintenance tasks by detailing the price of each component. It thus aids in maintaining control over the budget and ensuring cost-effectiveness of maintenance operations. 10. How do you create and manage maintenance orders in SAP PM? Creating and managing maintenance orders in SAP PM involves several steps. First, you must access the order creation screen by navigating through the SAP menu or using the transaction code IW31. There, you input all relevant data, including the order type, maintenance plant, and planning plant. Once the order is created, you can manage it through transaction codes IW32 for change and IW33 for display. Management also involves scheduling the order, assigning resources, and releasing the order for execution. After the maintenance work is completed, the order is technically completed and set to close. 11. What are the different categories of maintenance strategies in SAP PM? The various categories of maintenance strategies in SAP PM include Time-based strategy. Maintenance activities are scheduled at fixed intervals, such as weekly, monthly, or annually. This is ideal for routine tasks like cleaning or inspection. Performance-based strategy. Maintenance is triggered based on the usage or performance of the equipment. For instance, a car may need servicing after every 10,000 miles. Predictive maintenance strategy. Here, real-time data and machine learning algorithms are used to predict potential equipment failures before they occur. This strategy allows for proactive maintenance and minimizes downtime. Condition-based strategy. Maintenance is performed based on the actual condition of the equipment, which is often determined through regular inspections and checkups. Corrective maintenance strategy. In this approach, maintenance is carried out after a breakdown or malfunction has occurred. This is a reactive strategy and can result in longer downtimes. Preventive maintenance strategy. This involves performing maintenance activities regularly to prevent future breakdowns and extend the life of the equipment. Each strategy has its pros and cons, and the choice of strategy depends on the specific needs and circumstances of the organization. 12. Explain the concept of a measuring point in SAP PM. A measuring point in SAP PM serves as a specific location where measurements are recorded. These measurements can be related to the maintenance of an asset or piece of equipment. For example, a measuring point might track the number of hours a machine has been in operation or the amount of wear on a particular part. This information can then be used to schedule preventative maintenance tasks or to predict when a part might need to be replaced. The measuring point essentially provides a way to monitor the condition of an asset, enabling more proactive and efficient maintenance management. 13. How do you configure a catalog profile in SAP PM? To configure a catalog profile in SAP PM, you first need to go to the IMG, Implementation Guide, Settings of the SAP System. From there, navigate to the Plant Maintenance and Customer Service Settings, then to Master Data in Plant Maintenance and Customer Service. Under this setting, you will find the Technical Objects option and then the Catalog option. Here, you can configure the catalog profile. This configuration involves defining the catalog structure, which includes the catalog type, code groups, and codes. Once you have defined these, you can assign the relevant code to the relevant equipment or functional location. Note that the catalog is an integrated part of the SAP system, and its use is not limited to plant maintenance. This catalog can also be utilized in quality management, service management, and other areas of the system. 14. What is the importance of maintenance history in SAP PM? The maintenance history in SAP PM is crucial as it provides a comprehensive record of all maintenance activities carried out on a given piece of equipment or functional location. 
It serves as a valuable reference tool for understanding the frequency, nature, and impact of past maintenance tasks. The information in the maintenance history can aid in the identification of patterns and trends, which can inform proactive maintenance strategies and help reduce unplanned downtime. It can also be useful in assessing the effectiveness of current maintenance plans and identifying areas for improvement. 15. Describe the process of creating and managing preventive maintenance plans. Creating and managing preventive maintenance plans in SAP PM involves several steps. Initially, a maintenance strategy is developed that outlines the tasks and intervals for routine upkeep. This is established in the system by defining a maintenance plan category and then creating a maintenance plan. Next, the tasks and intervals are set, and the maintenance plan is scheduled. Once the maintenance plan is active, it generates work orders at the specified intervals. These work orders detail the tasks to be performed and can be assigned to specific work centers or individuals. Managing the maintenance plan involves adjusting the tasks or intervals as required, based on the performance of the equipment and the effectiveness of the maintenance activities. This process ensures that equipment is properly maintained and reduces the likelihood of unexpected breakdowns. 16. What is the role of notifications in SAP PM? Notifications in SAP PM serve as a crucial link between the system and the users. They are used to report and document technical issues, faults or changes in equipment, functional locations, or other objects managed by PM. Notifications can be created manually by users or automatically by the system based on certain triggers like exceeding a predefined threshold. They facilitate communication, collaboration, and action tracking among team members, ensuring that issues are promptly addressed and resolved. They can also be used to trigger corrective or preventive maintenance activities, making them an integral part of the maintenance workflow in SAP PM. 17. How do you handle breakdown maintenance in SAP PM? In SAP PM, breakdown maintenance involves the immediate repair or replacement of equipment that has failed unexpectedly. This type of maintenance is unplanned, meaning it is not scheduled in advance. When a breakdown occurs, a notification is created in the system to document the failure. This notification includes information about the equipment, the problem, and the steps taken to resolve it. After the notification is created, a maintenance order is generated to initiate the repair process. The order outlines the tasks to be performed, the materials required, and the personnel assigned. After the repair is complete, the order is closed and the equipment is returned to service. 18. Explain the concept of refurbishment in SAP PM. Refurbishment in SAP PM pertains to the process of restoring damaged or worn out equipment to its original or near original state. This process is crucial for ensuring that the equipment remains functional and continues to contribute to the productivity of the organization. Upon identifying a piece of equipment that needs refurbishment, a refurbishment order is generated in SAP PM. This order contains all the necessary details like the materials needed, the tasks involved, and the cost estimates. Once the refurbishment is complete, the equipment is sent back to the warehouse or directly to the location where it will be used. The system keeps a track of all these movements, ensuring transparency and efficiency in the process. 19. What are the key performance indicators, KPIs, used in SAP PM? Performance measurement in SAP PM is crucial to understanding the effectiveness of maintenance activities. Key performance indicators, KPIs, are used to track and analyze these activities. Some commonly used KPIs in SAP PM include mean time to repair, MTTR, mean time between failures, MTBF, and total maintenance cost. Other indicators might include percentage of preventive maintenance, downtime impact, and maintenance backlog. By analyzing these KPIs, organizations can identify potential areas for improvement, streamline their maintenance processes, and increase operational efficiency. 20. How do you manage spare parts and inventory in SAP PM? SAP PM, plant maintenance, facilitates efficient management of spare parts and inventory within an organization. Managing spare parts involves keeping track of all spare parts in the inventory, their quantity, location, and status. It enables the organization to determine when a particular spare part is required for maintenance work. In SAP PM, you can use the Material Master to manage spare parts. The Material Master contains all the information about a specific spare part, such as its description, stock level, and storage location. This information is crucial for planning and processing maintenance tasks. Inventory management in SAP PM is about managing the stocks of materials used in the maintenance process. It includes functions like planning, controlling, and monitoring the material flow. 21. Describe the process of creating and managing inspection lots. Creating and managing inspection lots in SAP PM involves several steps. First, you need to create an inspection lot using the Create Inspection Lot transaction. This will request information like the inspection type, material, and plant. After this, you assign the required inspection characteristics to the inspection lot. This could include measurements, visual checks, etc. The next step involves entering the results of the inspection. This is done under the Record Results transaction, where you provide the results for each inspection characteristic. Once the results have been entered, they need to be evaluated. This is done under the Make Usage. 22. What is the significance of maintenance item in SAP PM? 
A maintenance item in SAP PM plays a crucial role as it represents a maintenance task which needs to be performed. It is typically used in a maintenance plan to detail the necessary work, including the scope and frequency. With a maintenance item, users can define the exact task to be carried out, such as inspections, repairs, or replacements, making it a key component in preventive maintenance. The use of maintenance items allows for efficient planning and scheduling of maintenance tasks, leading to improved equipment uptime and reduced maintenance costs. Through its role, the maintenance item aids in ensuring the smooth running of operations and the longevity of equipment in a company. 23. How do you handle capacity planning for maintenance activities in SAP PM? Capacity planning plays a crucial role in SAP PM as it helps to ensure that resources are utilized optimally. In SAP PM, you handle capacity planning by using work centers and capacities. Work centers represent a location where maintenance activities are performed and they are associated with certain capacities. Capacities are the maximum available amount of productive time. For capacity planning, you need to set up work centers and assign them to maintenance orders. You can use the capacity evaluation report to check the capacity load of each work center. This report provides detailed information about the capacity requirements, available capacities, and capacity load. 24. Explain the concept of maintenance billing in SAP PM. Maintenance billing in SAP PM refers to the process of creating an invoice for the maintenance services provided. This can include labor, materials, and other costs incurred during the maintenance process. The maintenance billing process is an integral part of SAP PM as it helps in tracking the costs associated with maintenance activities. In SAP PM, maintenance billing is typically done using the billing document. The billing document contains all the details of the maintenance service, including the description of the work done, the materials used, the labor hours, and the total cost. This document is then used to create an invoice that can be sent to the customer or internal department responsible for paying the maintenance costs. The maintenance billing process in SAP PM can be automated, making it easier to manage and track. This not only saves time but also ensures accuracy and prevents errors that can occur in manual billing processes. 25. How do you ensure data quality and integrity in SAP PM Master Data? To ensure data quality and integrity in SAP PM Master Data, it's important to establish strict data governance policies and procedures. These should include clear guidelines on who can access and modify the data, and there should be checks and balances in place to prevent unauthorized changes. Data validation checks are also vital to maintaining data quality. This involves using software tools to automatically check the data for errors or inconsistencies, such as duplicate entries or missing values. Data cleansing is another essential step. This involves identifying and correcting, or removing, corrupt or inaccurate records from the database. This can be done manually or using specialized software tools. We trust that you found our comprehensive guide on Top 25 SAP PM Interview Questions and Answers to be insightful and beneficial. These questions are designed to equip you with the necessary knowledge required to face your SAP PM interviews with confidence. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe for more such content. We are dedicated to aiding you in your career progression. Thank you for your time and good luck with your career in SAP PM.